Hey guys, what's up? This is Chris with Everyday Tidbits. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Please hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube and Instagram family. I am tired of feeling like a stuffed potato in my uniform pants at work. I have definitely gained some weight back since my last um, journey, fitness journey to lose weight. I lost 22 pounds last year, and when COVID hit, it put a wrench in my fitness routine, um, so I wound up gaining 15 pounds back, and I can definitely feel it in my pants. So I have decided today's the day to take a hold of my life. Um, I have my gigantic water in the background, as you can see, and my new sign for inspiration. That is my microwave. I am defrosting some ground turkey so that I can make uh, the 21 day fix turkey chili with a few modifications because I don't have all the ingredients. Um, I am going to the store in a little bit to pick up my groceries so I will have the rest of the vegetables but I figured I would get the meat started now. I have some chicken I'll be grilling, um, some vegetables I'll be sauteing up, and I'm going to make some 21 day fix meatloaf, mini meatloaves. So that way I can be prepared when I'm hungry and I don't have to start eating garbage. <laughs> so today we're going to meal prep. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate your support. So let's get started in the kitchen. talk about the containers that go with the 21 day feet fix or pretty much mostly any Beachbody program. Um, when you buy a program with Beachbody that follows the container system, you get one set of each. And I have acquired a couple of sets because people have given them to me. I actually ordered uh, an extra set because when you're meal prepping, it really does help to have extra sets so that you don't have to keep washing um, the same set over and over again while you're prepping. So each set, each color represents a food category and depending on how much your current weight is, uh, there's a formula that Beachbody comes up with that tells you how many of each container you can eat in a day. So the green is fruit, 
I mean, I'm sorry, the green is vegetables. So I think I can have four containers of vegetables a day. So each green container is a cup. Um, the fruit container is also a cup. So I think I can have three fruits in my day. So you could spread these out throughout the day and do your meals. Like you can have a carb with a protein and a veggie and then count that as one of each. So your red is a protein, your yellow is carbs, um, your blue is healthy fats and that includes cheese, see like um, nuts, some nuts. Some nuts will go in this container, some nuts go in this container depending on the nut that you choose. And this is your seeds and dressings. Uh, this will include um, pumpkin seeds or sunflower seeds or chia, anything like that. Flax goes in this container, dressings. This is a serving of dressing and I believe you can only have one of these a day. I have to double check, but it makes you understand how much we overeat as a society. And you know, can you imagine how much dressing you put on your salad before you were aware that this is actually a serving? Um, so this is how I'm gonna be prepping my food. That's not gonna go up, of course. Um, during my day, I'm still waiting to go pick up my groceries. Uh, so, you know, I'll be prepping serving sizes. Walmart actually has a box of sandwich bags, the zipper bags, that are color coded. So they have, I believe there's green, there's um, red, there's a blue, and I think there's a yellow. I will check, I ordered them in my grocery pickup. So that way after I make like my grilled chicken today, I'm gonna cut it up, measure it, and put it in those baggies. So that way it's a quick and go, quick grab and go in the refrigerator and it's already portioned out. I can see the color when I'm looking for the category that I wanna eat in my fridge. So that's a quick overview of the containers. This I've had on my refrigerator and you can see Dr. Now's up there uh, inspiring me to do well. <laughs> so you can see that green is one cup, purple's one cup, red is three quarters of a cup, that's your protein. Yellow is your carbs, it's a half a cup. Blue is a third cup and orange is two tablespoons. Um, so this is your measurement for your cups. In case you don't wanna go out and buy the cups, here you go, darlings, it's right in front of you. You can do this, there's no excuse. You don't have to buy anything. Um, if you wanna do the program, you have to buy the program or you can subscribe to Beachbody On Demand, which is $99 a year. I feel like that's a fantastic deal because you're getting every single workout in the Beachbody program. So I forgot I had this nifty chopper here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, chop up some more onions because I just got notification from Walmart that my order is ready to be picked up. So as soon as I get home, I'm going to be using these chopped onions in um, sauteed vegetables and I'm also going to be making some brown rice in the pressure cooker and I always add chopped onions to my rice when I prep it because it gives it a little bit of flavor without having to add salt so that's what I'm going to be doing with these onions and then I'm gonna be heading off to Walmart to pick up my groceries you can home. see how lovely the chopper chop the onions. So now I have all these onions that I can be adding into all the different recipes that I'm going to be using them for as I meal prep. Guys, I'm sorry about the lighting. There's a window right by me, so <laughs> it's just all about the balance of the lighting. So now I'm going to go get dressed and go pick up the groceries.
so the next step to making this 21 day fix vegetable packed turkey chili is to add into the crock pot your turkey chili seasons onions and tomato mixture and just add that in there make sure you get all that goodness and then we're gonna oh my god Ugh, i'm so sorry <laughs> i knocked i totally knocked the camera on the tripod yeah so i'm gonna leave that blooper in there for you um real life guys that's what i report on <laughs> so all right so we have our meat mixture in there and then i have a can of kidney beans the lighting is terrible i'm so sorry let's see if i can't tone that down a little bit is that better a little bit better okay can of kidney beans If you like a lot of beans, you can add two cans of beans. You can add black beans. So I'm gonna give that a little stir. And then to the pot, I'm going to add all of the chopped peppers and garlic. This is going to be very flavorful without having to add a lot of salt. So we add that in, give that a little toss together. coming together beautifully. And then we're going to add a cup of red wine. And I'm using this Dante Merlot. My husband's name is Dante, so I'm gonna use up the last little bit in this bottle. It might not be quite a cup, but that is okay. So, oh, that smells good. So we're gonna mix this up. And then I'm gonna put the lid on and I'm gonna cook it on high for four hours. And you will have more liquid as it cooks because the peppers and onions are going to put out liquid. So let's put the lid on, cook this on high for four hours, and then we're gonna make some brown rice. Next step in our meal prepping. All right, the next thing I'm going to meal prep for weight loss is some brown rice in my instant pot well this is a cuisinart electric pressure cooker but it's the same thing as an instant pot perfect for making rice i store my rice in this gigantic uh cashew container it's perfect because it has a screw lid i got you know from costco but um i wrote down the measurements on the back so that i don't forget um how many cups go in and i like to season my brown rice with onions and some chicken broth. I keep this on hand because it lasts, you know, a pretty long time and you can measure it. So what I'm going to do now is I have to get my teaspoon measuring from the other side of the room. All right, so this is a half a teaspoon and you're going to use per cup, one teaspoon of chicken broth. So if you want to add a little bit more to give it a little bit more flavor, you can do that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure Two and a half, two and a half cups of water to two cups of rice, and I might just put a little bit more water in there because sometimes the rice comes out a little hard, and I don't want it to come out hard. So we're gonna do two cups of brown rice, and everything just gets thrown right in here. It's super easy to get yourself an instant pot for meal prepping, and. To that, we're gonna be adding two cups of water. Two and a half cups of water, I'm sorry guys. Two and a half cups of water. There's two. And you know what I'm gonna do? Two and two thirds cup water. So not quite a cup. I just don't want my rice to be hard because then I'll have to Seal it again, cook it some more. It's a pain in the butt to do that. So we're gonna just do it this way. And since we have just about three cups of water, I'm going to put uh, three teaspoons of chicken bouillon powder. And since this is a half, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna look like I'm putting a lot in. So here's one teaspoon, here's two, and here's three. 
I'm not adding any salt because this has enough salt in it. You're definitely not going to need any more salt. This is just, you know, for side dishes to put your vegetables over, put, to put your proteins over and stuff like that. And then I have a lot of chopped onions. I don't need this many. I'm only going to put a little bit in. I would say the equivalent, equivalent of maybe a half a cup to a cup because you just want it to flavor your rice. You're not looking to like, you know, have onion rice. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir and we're gonna seal the lid. And I'm going to cook this, make sure your pressure valve is closed. I'm gonna cook this at high pressure for 15 minutes. And then I'm going to let the machine you know, release itself. So a natural release at the end. All right, so the pin dropped. So I'm going to unplug my pot and open the lid because it's now safe. And you can see that our rice is cooked. And I'm gonna just give it a stir. Yes, it's actually perfectly cooked. It smells really good. There's the onion flavor, the chicken broth flavor. And I'm going to let it cool in um, in the pot before putting it in a container for the refrigerator. The next thing we're gonna do is marinate some chicken breasts in that sugar-free lemon herb. Um, sugar-free lemon herb marinade. Um, when you're doing 21 day fix or any meal plan, you should try to avoid salt and you should try to avoid, avoid sugar. So the fact that I was able to find some, you know, sugar-free marinade is great. These are actually semi-frozen. I just picked them up from the store. They were probably in the freezer, like refrigerator freezer area because they were, um, you know, I did the grocery pickup. So they're a little semi-frozen, which is fine because they'll defrost as they're marinating. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna do, you know, I'm gonna only good, gonna do one package for now because it's just me. And then I'm probably gonna wind up, it's Monday, I go back to work on Thursday. I'm probably gonna wind up grilling some more on Wednesday. And you know, this is good for now because I'm gonna cook this tonight. And I'll be back because I gotta wash my hands. When I was washing my hands, um, I realized that it's possible that my daughter might want some of this chicken. So I am going to open the second, the second pack and I'm going to use both of them. And we'll let this marinate for a few hours and then we will grill it. I'd say it's, it's 2.30 now. I'm probably going to put this in the fridge, let it marinate until maybe like 4.30, 5 o'clock. And in that time I have to do my workout. So we are, uh, I'm trying to get started with the workouts today. This is day one and I've been trying to motivate myself all day to get it done. And I know we're a tight squeeze in here, but I'm gonna just get in there with my hands and I'm gonna toss this chicken in the marinade. So that's why we can, we have sinks. <laughs> we can wash our hands. I know some people are skeeved with chicken and I usually do this in a freezer bag. However, um, I ordered freezer bags with my grocery pickup and I, I didn't realize that when I ordered the freezer bags, I ordered the wrong size. So I ordered the small ones. I wanted the big ones, but that's no biggie because I will still use the small ones. So I make sure everybody gets a little bit of marinade on on you and then i'm going to wash my hands again and seal this up and put this in the fridge okay guys since i told you i have a lot of onions chopped up left over and i have these tiny little freezer bags what i'm going to do is put these chopped onions in the freezer bag so that way i can freeze them and they'll be ready for the next meal prep already chopped so sometimes it's good to have a little bit more than what you need because it makes your life easier for the next time you do something like this and there you go, chopped onions for the freezer.
I put it in a food saver container. This is a Freshworks Rubbermaid. I believe I got this at Walmart as well. I might've gotten it off of Amazon, but both of both places have it. This is just cut up romaine. I washed it in a salad spinner, and then I usually store it with a paper towel to absorb all the moisture in there. Um, I'm about to have lunch because I'm starving. I'm having a Arnold sandwich thin, which counts as one yellow container, a blue container worth of cheese, a green containers worth of salad and a dressing and seed container of light Caesar dressing. Technically, this is not a 21 day fix approved dressing, but that's what I have. I don't wanna waste food. I'm gonna use up what I have. I'm just gonna measure it. So I'm gonna put some turkey bacon, which is cooking on the stove. You can have four slices and that's a red container. And then I made an extra one for my daughter to try because she wants to try it. And that's gonna be my lunch for today. I just finished my workout. I did week one uh, workout one, which was total body cardio fix. And then I just went outside and grilled my chicken. So I just wanted to let you know, I prep usually my carbs, sometimes my vegetables and um, most of my protein. It definitely helps to have your stuff prepped ahead of time because then you don't find yourself reaching and trying to like find something to eat when you're hungry. It's very easy to throw something together and just heat it up and it prevents you from reaching for something that is not healthy. So I look disgusting. Um, I'm gonna wrap this up and go take a shower. But I wanted to show you everything that I prepped today and then I will be saying goodnight. Okay, we have our turkey chili from the 21 Day Fix book, uh, cookbook, the first volume one. And then I have my grilled chicken with my sugar-free lemon marinade. I have some steel cut oats. I put vanilla extract and cinnamon in those. This is, these are good for breakfast. Uh, brown rice with my onions and my chicken bouillon in there. This is just for lunch or dinner. I have cut up romaine lettuce for salad. I have my hard boiled eggs to bring to work for breakfast. And that is pretty much what I've gotten done so far. Um, I have lots of frozen vegetables in the, in the freezer and I have fruit in the refrigerator so I can fill in for my snacks. My cheese is in there. And the next prep video I do, I'm going to be showing you a couple more recipes, probably most likely from the Fix Cookbook because that is like my Bible when I'm doing this. And that smells delicious. Okay, everyone, well, I'm gonna wrap up this video and I'm going to say goodnight because I'm exhausted and I need to go take a shower um, after working out and being outside in the heat grilling. So make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. Follow me over there on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits. I would love for you to be a part of my social media family. Hope everyone's being safe and I will talk to you guys, talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.